Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your uh, What's Cracking for Monday the 16th of March. We're already halfway through March guys. <laughs> Time sure does fly. Um, thank you so much for, for subscribing. Girl, tell I'm having trouble this morning. To my channel. Um, I'm going to close out the competition I have on my Facebook page this week. So if you're interested, please get over and um, enter into that. And I'll start up another one. Um, and I'll also start thinking about some dates. I'm on the holidays for April. So I hope to do a good catch up and get some dates in there for a few Facebook card pool lives. So, um, and we'll see how we're going for time around those then. Just feels like your days are so full that you don't always have time to do those things. Anyway, let's see what's going on in the what's cracking world. Oh, oh. this is coming for a lot of you at the moment. What's behind it? Oh, okay. So we have the tower with the justice card here. Um. Something's coming because it needs to come in. Um, something's coming here because it needs to clear something away. Something that perhaps you don't realise you do. Um, something that needs to be uh, sort of drawn back and started again. You need to rebuild something here. It's got something to do with karma. So you've been following the path that you've been taught. But this justice card is coming in to clear that now. For some of you, this can be a clearing of justice in terms of the legal system too. So something might be coming your way to clear your path. So you can move forward without the karma. Oh, and then we have the judgment card. So things are pretty, um, pretty full on in the universe at the moment by the looks of things. Um, so it looks like the universe is trying to clean things out for you to start afresh. All right. I'm using the modern spellcaster's tarot here, although I'm going to have a change of decks very shortly. Okay, two of two of cups. <laughs> so that's sort of nice after seeing all the other stuff there. So this whole energy of clearing something out may have something to do with cycling in relationships. Um Sometimes we find we do the same things in relationships and they sort of end up sort of coming off the same way um, and we don't realise we're cycling and then one day we go, well, hang on a moment, that seems to be what happens all the time. You know, things seem to go around that way and even though we may not see it at that time, we start to sort of invest in what is it about our relationships that we can't seem to um, understand how they are supposed to play out um, and a lot of that is around your internal teachings you know how much you value yourself what what value you place on yourself in a relationship with someone else now this doesn't necessarily always have to be romantic um, a lot of us have experienced um, other situations you know within our family units and within our friends so what is it about the way we do things or the way we're perceived in the world that affects our relationships with other people. Um, this is the card of working on something. So for some of you here, you could be already working on this, um, which could very much give rise to the karma and the tower energy um, and rebirth because you're starting to understand more about the deeper, deeper levels of who you are and your your place um, and who you are in the world and how you fit into things. Um, I guess for a lot of us, when you're younger, you don't think about that. You just go about your life, you party, you have fun, you know, you have your broken hearts, you have your families, whatever it is, but you don't really look at the greater truth of who we are and why we're here. Um, I remember going through that a lot as a kid, trying to understand why we were placed in the universe, why we're here on the earth. And it really, honestly, messed with my brain so much. I tried not to think about it too much. But I kept thinking there has to be more than what everybody's telling us. You know, there has to be. 
Um, and now I see things so differently to what I did when I was younger. So this is about working on yourself here to understand your relationships. We also have the lover's card here. So something is very um, potent in your energy at the moment around the way you form relationships with people and how you work on having more, um, I don't want to say successful relationships, it makes them feel a bit cold, but more perhaps um, to gain from the relationships you're having with other people. There appears to be a relationship coming in for you um, that quite possibly is someone who's going to help you sort of see the way forward. So this is quite a, an impact for many of you here. But perhaps something you've waited for or something you've manifested. So for many of you, we have the devil card here. So for many of you here, this this idea of how relationships should go could very much be around some sort of way that you are within a relationship due to the way you've been raised or brought up by your family. So for some of you, this could be codependency. Some of you could um, have a view of relationships that it's more about the other person than yourself. There could be a many reasons to this, but what it really comes down to is how your ego plays out in a relationship. Now, this may not be you personally, it may be the people that you are meeting too, but then how do they pick you? How do they um, pull you out and, and sort of, you know, see you as, as something that is easily manipulated or even destroyed? Okay, and we have the wish card coming out. So maybe for many of you, you've recognised the patterns, you've recognised the cycling, you've recognised what you do in relationships or you recognise what other people do. But something here has made you understand that you don't want to take this into the future and your wish is here for your next relationship not to bear the scars of previous relationships, which was Spirit's words. Um, five of Cups coming in here. So this is some sadness about the past here. Um, the Five of Cups sort of signifies that even though we have things in our future to look forward to, we're too focused on the past mistakes or the past um, energies. Um, going back and working on what you perceive in your past as not being, as not serving you anymore is not the same as focusing on your past. So I want to say to you that, you know, there is a time for going back and looking at your past, but it's not a, a time for grieving. It's a time for understanding, growing, um, and you may use your past as a springboard, they're so cute, um, to get you to move you into the future. There is the card of reunion and celebration here as well. So something is definitely going here and the end of a cycle. So I think most of you are starting to close out this cycle patterns and I think it's what you want. I think you, a lot of you want to sort of discard how you've done things in the past and start afresh um, and let go of the past hurts. Hmm. Okay, so we have the card of the past. <laughs> um, this is the card of nostalgia and remembering here. This is the card of soulmates. It's the card of, you know, this true love you felt as a child for other people that was undistorted or undisturbed by the world around you, by other people, by people putting stuff in your brain. It wasn't just the people either. I mean, we watched the television shows, we listened to the music, we you know, take all those things in and all of them build our idea of how the world should be and how it should manifest for us. But of course, it's not always the most realistic way of looking at things. Okay, something is going on here. I have strong soulmate twin flame energy coming out in this reading this morning. This is about stability between two people. This is building something stable, Okay, and there's a transformation here. So some, some of you here have let go of what was holding you back. Some of you have already closed out some sort of cycle here and you've had perhaps your epiphany moment with the tower or perhaps you've had the realisation here of what was happening in your day-to-day -day relationships and maybe even in your romantic relationships. But some of you are starting to see here 
um, I think some of you with that devil energy are, are starting to understand other people's dependence on you um, and realising that that isn't healthy either. Um, something's changing. There's big change here, look. And we have a, another major arcana coming out here too. So something big is happening in the, in the energies at the moment. Um, something that is teaching people to rely more on intuition. Um, it looks as though many of you have cast off some sort of energy around how you form relationships with people. So maybe you've sort of had that tower where you've gone, got a, an aha moment here. I'll keep going. And yes, you're walking away from things that no longer emotionally fulfil you. Um, this is certainly about... Um, understanding that not everything that comes in your path is for your greater good. Oh, really excited here. Oh, and then we have the moon. So more has yet to be revealed. So you're only just scraping the surface of this. You're only just starting to understand here. But I feel like many of you, this is sort of like this realisation, but maybe you haven't got to the action part yet where you get to play this out and understand your relationship to people or to to lovers or whatever it is for you but you are starting to get this energy now with this moon so i have the two of cups here which of course talks about two people who are joined together in some sort of soulmate relationship soulmates don't necessarily have to be romantic they can be you know your family members your friends but the person that you see eye to eye with you have a very solid relationship with this person um, sometimes soulmates come into our life to teach us about other things so not all soulmates will you know um, bring joy to our life or leave our life with a sense of joy some of them are there to teach us lessons so it may be that you've had some sort of encounter with someone that you've moved away from because you've realized that you've learned the lesson from that relationship and you don't want to repeat it so there's sort of a feeling here that you're working on yourself working on your energies this card here of the lovers is a slightly different card though because the lovers is about two people brought together divinely because they are meant to work together they are meant to be together um Sometimes this card can represent a choice as well of whether you move forward with someone or whether you stay back, you don't take on this relationship. But something's been manifesting here um, and a very strong feeling that many of you have started to understand the quality of your relationships, why they are there, what they teach you and who you know you have to have in your life and who you don't. I think that's something we get to learn very much as we get older is the whole understanding around, you know, you don't have to put up with people if you don't want to. You know, you are able to sort of cull them out of your life and decide that they're not bringing you, you know, something that's beneficial to you. Um, whereas when you're younger, you tend to put up with other people's crap or their way of treating you. Um, but I can see here that you're starting to understand this journey and the greater gift of having good, healthy relationships with people. So many of you here are starting, to, I've been through some sort of process here. The universe has put you through some sort of process and you're finalising some cycle of pattern or way of doing things where you are um, ensuring that the people who come into your world or the people that stay in your world are the ones that you benefit from. Um, and I'm not talking about benefit in a material sense. I mean, you know, the benefit of having joy and love around someone, of having a positive um, relationship. And that doesn't mean there aren't ups and downs or things to be faced, but that you find people around you who are supportive and loving and caring rather than constantly draining you of your energy. Um, and there's a big, a big change for you here. So this is something that the universe has been trying to push along for a while now and it's starting to really take, um, I think, take focus for many people here. Um, I just want to check this moon card because I think it's quite interesting that you have the moon at the end of this. Um, there's a lot of water sign energy in this reading as well. Sometimes I don't 
feel that as much when it's very general like this. But it may be a water sign who's instrumental in moving you forward here. So you may have a family member, a friend or a lover who's going to treat you or teach you um, how to how to do things more to benefit yourself as you're moving forward. Um, okay, so you're going to, oh, wow, okay. Yeah, I do think it's a water sign. I think you're meeting someone who's teaching you or has taught you or maybe has come in and out as a soulmate and taught you more about how to clear that karmic energy that holds you back. Um, I do have the Two of Wands with the Justice card and the Knight of Cups here. So there's something that's being offered to you here. Now, it may not necessarily be a relationship. It may not necessarily be an offer in terms of something tangible. Sometimes when someone comes in and brings a gift in like this, it's someone saying, doing or um, enlightening you in such a, a way by offering you some insight into the way you're doing things. But I see you taking a different path here. So for many of you, this is about clearing the karma and moving forward in order to have more healthy relationships with others. Um, but it's definitely a water sign that's giving you some sort of insight into that. So you could have a family member or a friend or, a, as I said, someone that you're in a romantic relationship that is showing you your own value, that is reflecting or mirroring the type of person that you are. And because of that, your understanding, oh, nice, your understanding your relationship with others through this person. We have the card of fire coming out here. Um, let's read that. So I've gone back to the mystic shaman, mystical shaman oracle here. All right. Fire consumes anything that it touches. The flames remind us of the impermanent nature of reality and how situations can quickly transform into beauty or chaos. Fire is passion and its dancing flames invite us to reach for the sky. Warm and light are heavenly, yet too much heat can scorch us. To fully step into the energy of fire is to be utterly transformed like the phoenix rising from the ashes. Warm your hands and your heart by your inner fire. Let it burn away your hardships. Let it consume your pain and your sorrow. Has life become too rigid, too cold or too superficial? Light a candle or make a bonfire. Toss it into the flames, everything that has become stiff and painful. Give it all to the fire for rapid transformation and set your life on fire. So this is about getting rid of those things in your life that do not serve you, that you're putting up with or you're tolerating or you're barely managing it's okay to to just let them go that's what this card is saying have a fabulous monday